Hi, it's a beautiful day in Cota de Casa, and I'm walking down Vista del Verde and I happen to stumble across this amazing plant. This here is your common tumbleweed. The same tumbleweed we see in the Clint Eastwood movies blowing across the plains of Texas and Arkansas and Oklahoma. And this plant is the prickly Russian thistle. It's known as Kali tragus and used to be called Sasala tragus until about 2007. And you can call it Kali. Other people call it uh, Wind Witch, Common Saworth. My wife calls it Witch's Hair. Now this plant comes from Russia. It comes from uh, the steppes outside the Ural Mountains. And in about 1870, the Ukrainians sold a batch of flaxweed to the farmers up in South Dakota. And the flaxweed was contaminated with the, with the seeds from this um, Russian thistle. And the seeds uh, flourished, of course, in our environment. And they spread all across all the plains. And about 20 to 30 years later, this was wound up in California. Arizona, Utah, and even down in Mexico. So let's take a closer look at our prickly Russian thistle. All right, so let's take a closer look at our Russian thistle. Make sure there's no snakes around. We got a golf ball. That's kind of cool. So here's one. I'll just toss it out there. Here's another. Look how big these things get. Wow. This plant, Russian thistle, it can grow about three feet wide. You can see here. And what it does, it starts out as a very small plant, a soft, a soft plant that you know animals can eat, but as it grows up, it gets stiffer and it develops uh, thorns around it. And all the thorns then become entangled together and as the flowers mature, the plant starts to die. And then eventually dries up, it separates from its root, and it blows down the desert, spreading all of its 250,000 seeds across America. So one plant can do quite a lot of damage. But it sure is pretty. So this is our Calitragus, the Russian prickly, or the prickly Russian thistle. Here I'll share with you two other uh, fun bits of information. This plant, of course, is highly flammable. And so when we have a, like a fire out in the plains or the hillside, these weeds will catch on fire, separate, and blow to the nearest barn or house and burn it down. And also, you know, it's not very edible. You can tell by the thorns here and, you know, the cows and the goats, they don't really like it so much. However, during the Dust Bowl, the Great American Dust Bowl, all the hay was uh, dried up. So the farmers only had this um, thistle to feed to the cattle. So that's what the cattle ate for those many years of the Dust Bowl. Let's take another closer look at this amazing plant. All the way from Russia. Courtesy of uh, Vladimir Putin. Here we go. Prickly Russian thistle.